All right, guys, this is Felix Mariano with your morning weekend report. Um, it is way too early to be doing this, but somebody has to do the news. So we have a lot to report, guys. We have the barbecue that is going on today. We have a new group ride for the first time in Long Island. And we have a special report by Jay Style where he found a hidden trail for Serons. All right, let's get at it. So all the preparations are on the way for this big barbecue by S3. The guys were really working hard since last night. Ladies and gentlemen, Richie and I are here. We're bringing the beef. We're gonna be bringing a lot of beef. How many pounds of beef is this, Richie? I think it's like, like 15 pounds of beef. If not more. Yeah. We're gonna marinate a lot of it. Over $150 worth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If you didn't think that we're serious, we're very serious. But uh, definitely, definitely bring chicken. If you're gonna bring uh, hot dogs, hamburgers, that would be really appreciated. Definitely. We're gonna focus on what people really want, which is the steak, it's right? The steak. Mike's way. We're gonna leave some of it not marinated just just because, but you guys will be happy. 10.30 at night, Richie and I are finally finishing up here at Walmart. This is how hard Richie is working for us, guys. <laughs> you guys don't understand how much work this man put in. And not only did we stay perfectly on budget, but Richie also made a very gracious donation that you guys will be seeing at the barbecue. When you guys see this thing that we got, it's gonna make the barbecue 10 times more fun. That's three. That's three. Oh man, that's looking good. That's looking good. Hopefully it's gonna taste good as well. All right guys, so this is a very special report by Jay Stow. He is our guy to go on the cover and find sketchy things and things that are not supposed to be going on in the community or maybe it is uh we don't know yet but this is jay on a hidden trail for serons this is jay styles here uh coming at you from a discreet location where this special individual nico created his uh made a trail it took him about half a year to do so and i'm waiting for him to come so we can interview him and get his ideas his passion and why he did it and i'm here with the legendary alternate volts nico so I'm here to ask you, Nico, what inspired you to create this trails? So there was a couple of BMXers that I was hanging out with and they wanted to show me a trail that has been abandoned for a long time. So I, I came here to this trail that you see here and there was a lot of glass, a lot of debris along every single trail along along all the all the pathways. So they there was like i'm gonna come come here and work so i said okay mm. I'll, I'll work as well so i came here and no one else came but i cleaned for a month i cleaned up everything all the glass all the debris and then after a month i started building jumps for bmx bikes nice 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 and how long and when did you start building this i started building this two years ago okay so two years ago and this is an undisclosed location. If you want to know where is it at, you're not going to know. We're not going to tell you. <laughs> so you have to know somebody to know somebody to get in here. So sorry for that. Not really sorry. So how long did it take for you to make it, by the way? It, so the first, the first six months was spent on the, on the first two jumps for the BMX track. And then when I got the Suron... I worked on another track that's that's behind us here on uh, on the left, mm -hmm. and it was meant for the the Suron dirt bikes, mountain bikes, any any big bikes. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, it was a dual track. So yeah. there was one track for for motorbikes, and then there was one track for BMX. <clears throat> Sweet. And uh, what are you currently riding right now? Right now I'm riding a, a KX85. It's right behind me by, by the table. We have two Surons here. That's cool. Have, mm -hmm. Gas bikes and Surons yeah. is what this guy rides. Yeah. This is Jay Styles from Frantic TV. Uh, back to you, Felix. Thank you, Jay. Uh, that was some good reporting. Uh, it, it must be really tough uh, and nerve-wracking to be 
uh, in the middle of nowhere with somebody that you hardly know. But good job in pulling that through and giving us the news. We have a very exciting group ride in Long Island, and this is hosted by our friend Jeff from JB360. So I'm going to let Jeff tell you the instruction for this group ride. For the group ride on Sunday, I'm going to show you guys where to go to come to the meetup spot. So once you get out of the ferry over here, you're going to want to work your way up this bike path, or you can just take this road over here. And uh, you're going to want to go up the hill here. And uh, once you do that, you're going to want to make a right. Like I said, you can stay on the bike path or you can just kind of like stay on the main road. Fuck these red lights. Uh, <laughs> so you're going to want to go straight here and you want to keep going, stay on the right lane or stay on the right side here and you're going to make a right at this first light right here. And once you make this right, you're going to come down here. Go past this garage here. And uh, you're gonna wanna go over here, make a left so you can't go straight anymore. And uh, yeah. This is the spot that you want to be at. As you can see, the um, entrance uh, from the Pier 79 ferry is over there. So whoever's taking the Pier 79 ferry, they can just literally come right out here and then just meet us like right here. And then for the ones that are taking the uh, big old orange ferry over um, by Whitehall Station, uh, you would just take that route that I uh, mentioned before uh, down over here. And uh, yeah, we'll meet up and uh, gather everybody and then we'll head out. Thank you, Jeff. Oh man, I'm really excited about this group ride. All right, so that's it for the news. I'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao.